is good job and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. As y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, bro, we got something serious to talk about, man. I ain't gonna lie. I need y'all's help. Big SOS, big white flag. You dig what I'm saying? I need y'all's help, bro. Point blank, period. So that being said, let's go ahead and run that intro get straight into this banger video So jumping straight into today's video, man. As y'all can tell, we are currently in the car and we're already driving on the road, man. Um, so basically, there's two things that I want to touch on as far as today's video goes. And one of those things is a comment that I got and which kind of made me drop a video, which was the most recent vlog talking about vader and how it was running too lean and the motor was probably gonna blow up um now i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm gonna keep it a buck i don't know if odul was just trolling if he was just saying stuff to you know what i'm saying get under my skin have me worried about the build or whatever the case may be but at the end of the day bro i take every comment seriously i respond to every comment to the best that i can um and I do read every single comment that comes across my page. Now, that being said, bro, um, Brody was in the comments on two separate videos saying that the car was running extremely lean and I needed to take it to a tuner and have it looked at and all type of stuff. Now, as you guys may or may not know, if you didn't see that video, um, I've been riding around on the spicy tune that the car has which basically is the tune that the car did its PB6130 time with. Now, that being said, y'all, um, I was a little bit on the fence about running that tune as an everyday tune. Of course, I have multiple revisions after that tune that I could easily just flash onto the car, but in previous vlogs, you guys would have seen that basically I was having the issue of the car breaking up on the top end on this specific tune. So that being said, man, I went ahead and replaced the spark plugs. Noticed that one of the spark plugs was in fact cracked. Um, so after I swapped out the spark plugs, I reflashed this tune on the car and started driving around with it, man, just to see if the car was gonna break up on the top end again or if it was gonna be smooth. And honestly, the car has been smooth ever since then. Now, that being said, since it, this was kind of like a tune where it was like, we flashed it on the car, made a pull, car did phenomenal, got another revision. I was just on the fence about running it. Now, of course, my boy RK told me like, you know what I'm saying? Every tune that he sent me or is sending me, I can drive the car on and be perfectly fine that it is safe. It's not pushing the car or anything like that. However, you know, me being me and having the luck that I have, bro, I really like to make sure everything is good for real, for real. Make sure that I touch every base possible and, you know, plan for every outcome that can possibly come. So when bro hit me up in the comments and was like, oh, bro, your car is running mad lean. Um, you should definitely, you know, get it taken care of. I instantly hit up RK and was like, yo, Brody, do I need to send you a log or what? Um, so I am here to say happily that the car is running fine, bro. It's not running too lean. It's not running too rich. It's good, bro. So again, if bro was just trolling, if you was just trolling, bro, you already know what it is about you. But if you were being serious and you were really just trying to help and 
look out. Good looking out, bro. Appreciate you. For real, for real. Um, but yeah. Now, enough of that jibber-jabber, bro. Let's get into today's video. What do I need you guys' help with? What is the SOS for? Honestly, bro, I need you guys' help with tires for the street setup, bro. We've talked about this in the past. I've kind of touched on this before. Um, and honestly, I just didn't get a solid answer, so I really don't know which route to go with, bro. Um, so currently, I'm running the stock 305 30 20s in the rear. Um, these are good years. Um, that's what comes with these vehicles, the SS1 Elite and the ZL1. They all come with a 305 30 20 in the rear. That's a good year. Now, I can't lie, bro. The good years, they do not hook for anything. Like, by any means. As you guys have seen, time. And time. And time. to and the car would end up in that lane and maybe even the lane over like it's it's bad bro you guys have seen the clips you guys have watched the vlogs y'all have seen it it's it's really bad that being said oh, we got an old school over there hold up okay 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 i see you gang i see you but anyway um as you guys have seen from the vlogs bro the car just spins honestly so that being said we need a new set of tires to throw on the rear of this thing, man. That way, when I'm driving on the street setup, I can know that if somebody pulls up next to me right now and wants to run it, I'll be able to hook and we can run it. You know what I'm saying? Because as of right now, I know if somebody pulled up next to me and was like, yo, 40 roll, I'm going into bro's quarter panel. You feel me? Or, or bro's damn driver's door for real it's just facts like it is what it is the car kicks out and it kicks out hard bro even when i'm just doing a regular pull like rolling into it on shifts the rear end kicks out every time every shift like vader's just making that much steam right now bro to where when i do a pull bro I ain't gonna lie, this joint, sit down, get a little squirrely, get a little, you know what I'm saying, a little wiggle wiggle, and then it'll go. But nine times out of ten, I'm gonna have to let off, then get back in it. And if I'm racing and I gotta let off and then get back in it, bro, I lost already. Straight like that. Damn, the undos is out today, ain't it? Jesus. But anyway, um, yeah, man, straight like that, like, so that being said, man, what tires are you guys running? I've been told mixed things about several different companies, several different tires. Um, I've seen a lot of the YouTubers that I watch run the Toyo R888s and have no issues except for when it rains. Then I've got homies telling me uh, to go with Mickey Thompson, that Mickey Thompson makes a street tire, which I had no idea. So it's just like, at the end of the day, y'all, I need a street tire that's A, gonna hook, and B, gonna be decent in the rain. Because I live in Texas, bro. The weather is so unpredictable here, it's insane. Like, you could leave your house, it be sunny and hot as hell. Five minutes into your drive down the road, bro, you could drive into a freaking rainstorm, bro. <laughs> like... I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm being serious. Like, it's bad, bro. If you live in Texas, if you live in the Houston area, you know what I'm talking about, bro. You cannot trust the weatherman. So that being said, as of right now, the car really and truly only hooks 
on the drag pack. And I don't know about you guys, but running an ET Street R as a daily driver, bro, is not the smartest idea. I can't lie. Like, especially in the weather conditions that I live in, bro, where one day, where one moment is sunny as hell, and then the next moment is storming, or vice versa. It's storming like crazy, and two minutes later, the sun comes out, and it's over with. You know what I'm saying? So, that being said, y'all, I really and truly need you guys' recommendations. You guys see that I read all the comments already, bro. So, obviously, you're not commenting for no reason. I'm literally going to read the comment and take it into consideration on my purchase, bro. So, with that being said, guys, please, 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 bro, please, bro. Real deal spill, please, bro. Send me your tire recommendations, bro. Please. Because your boy is not trying to die, bro. I'm really not. Y'all know I be having my daughter in the back of the car nowadays, bro. So it's like, I ain't trying to die, bro. I'm not. Yeah.